and welcome back to a brand new video. So this is one of the main roads where it runs right into Blackpool. It's Preston New Road and it runs right along. So this is the main road where people travel to when they, uh, they come to Blackpool. And uh, the, one of the first things they do see is this fantastic windmill. Now this has been subject um, to quite a bit of talk and I'll go into a little bit more about why this is so special and there it is just hovering on the uh that building near the wild west diner so we'll have a, a quick look so that could be one of the first ones i'm not sure if it's a uh, is one of the monsters or if it's uh, another inflatable of some kind but yeah let's go and have a, a bit of a look So we're just near the M55, um, sort of going in towards out of Blackpool. And uh, this is a familiar sight to everybody. So this is the first building, the first sort of historic building people see when entering Blackpool. And uh, it's just located near the M55. And it's uh, the little Morton windmill. And uh, like I said, this has been here for years. It actually stopped um, making grain in 19... 28 uh, and today's mill was actually built on a site of an even earlier min will in 1838 um, so like i said you know it's got a fantastic history and uh, yeah it's a it's a superb superb building so we'll have a, a bit of a look around i'll tell you a little bit more information on this one so as we uh, just walk around the uh, this mill um, it's actually the English Heritage um, designated it as a Grade 2 um, listed building in 1983. Let's just uh, move up a look at that. And uh, 88,000 was spent on uh, this mill through renovation projects a few years afterwards in 1987. And uh, on Sunday the 1st of March 2015, which is nine years ago, a blue plaque was uh, unveiled um, so the, uh, it sort of celebrates the uh, civic importance of the mill. So let's go and have a, a look around the front of this building. And you can see that's the, uh, the blue plaque, um, which was uh, unveiled in 2015. So you can just see like the, uh, the state of the windmill. It certainly needs like that uh, protective painting um, on the uh, in sort of close inspection. You see where it's all sort of like peeling away. So it's certainly in that desperate need um, for the funds to be spent. And that's a, that's a stunning view. You see the, uh, the sun just rising up. And it is open to the public, this one. So it's not open until Easter next year. So I'll pop a link in the description. It's only two pounds to, uh, to visit um, the windmill. How remarkable um, is that? And also there's a, there's a GoFund page um, which has been set up and it was Kevin Hodgson who's the organiser um, of that. So I'll pop the link in the description. Um, they are trying to raise, uh, I believe it's £50,000 um, for the restoration projects um, of this uh, amazing um, mill. And like I said, you see where the, uh, the sails once stood. And, uh, you know, just a, a little bit more just in regards to those sails. It was uh, on the morning of Good Friday april 2023 one of the uh, the sails on this mill um sadly fell onto the ground um having fallen off in sort of very high and strong winds uh, and the easter sunday open day had to be abandoned as parts of the sails started to come loose um, so there is three sails um, which were taken off in 2023 um sort of specialists assessing the damaged um, and the, 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 you know, sort of come to the conclusion that you know it needs a, a lot of work doing to pop those sails back on. Uh, but like I said, hopefully this uh, this money, which will uh, be raised, um, can pop those back on because it's uh, like I said, it's one of the oldest buildings in Blackpool. It's the first one um, you know you come across. So yeah, we're going to have a look around this um, this area as well because um, there's quite a few things which have changed. Um, you know, over the years, 
and uh, everything will be in the description about this uh, iconic mill. And just over the, uh, the road, uh, directly over from uh, the mill, is the uh, harbour. Uh, and this is 154 bedrooms, so it's a huge place, um, which is classed as a mental health hospital, which provides care and treatment um, for adults who can't be treated um, in their own home, which is just located on that Preston New Road. And uh, we've got all sorts of buildings up here. Um, I believe the NSNI was one of those. I'm not too sure if that's gone or it's been relocated after looking into that one. But there's some fantastic little uh, pubs as well, none of which is the Toby Carvery. So we're going to have a, a quick look at that because they've also got like a, an electric charging point. So you can charge your car up while you have that lovely meal. And uh, yeah, so things have certainly changed uh, on this stretch of the road. So this is the uh, Toby Carvery. And uh, they do actually do two meals here for £11.99, which is fantastic. You can see they've got a huge car park space. There we go. So whip the camera around and there's a charging point just to the uh, left hand side for your uh, electric cars if you got one. And this is the, uh, the Toby Carvery. Like I said, you can't go wrong for £11.99 for a couple of meals. I mean, that's certainly um, not bad. It's actually got a very, very good feedback. So just approached the, uh, the town centre, um, we're near the, uh, the new train, or shall I say tram, um, station near Mark Kelly's. And I just wanted to mention that Paul McCartney also has sent his best wishes in regards to the, uh, the windmill um, restoration project. And, you know, we, hopefully we will raise that £50,000 to get them sales back on and restore that iconic building in Blackpool. Uh, which is, you know, it's an amazing project and, you know, all credit where credit is due for people going out of the way, organising, you know, that GoFundMe page and, you know, all the ones that are involved um, with that. And you see, you know, we got, we've got Funny Girls just to the right-hand side. Um, so this is on Dixon Road we've just turned into. And there's uh, obviously a lot of... Uh, bars and things along this road so we're going to find somewhere to park and just venture into town uh, a little stroll along the uh, the promenade just see if anything um, is happening anything new and uh, you know it's such a, a fantastic day but yeah it's uh, it's incredible that uh, that you know the little windmill um, and you know i'll be making a donation like so that will be in the in the description also so all the best of luck to them um, in raising those funds so this is a bit of a nightmare it's always a, a nightmare to park so yeah we'll uh, we'll reconvene uh, when i found somewhere to park and uh, we'll see you soon and we just arrived in uh, Blackpool on the, uh, the promenade and the first view is that up here. So, I mean, a lot of people have seen it many a times, but, you know, it, it sort of never goes away, that, that magic. It's uh, really nice, you know, with the, the sea just lapping over. Great views. And you see the, uh, the donkeys on the beach. First thing this morning, all ready for uh, another great day. But we've got a bit of a surprise because I think we possibly could have discovered one of the uh, first monsters on the roof. So we're going to go and check that out um, right now. Uh, so it could be a, a bit of a find uh, for the first one. I'm not sure if it is, but yeah, let's go and uh, check it out. And there it is, just hovering on the... Uh, that building near the Wild West Diner. So we're gonna have a, a quick look. So that could be one of the first ones. I'm not sure if it's a, is one of the monsters or if it's a, another inflatable of some kind. But yeah, let's go and have a, a bit of a look. So as we approach it, it's a huge inflatable, uh, it's like a black and white. Uh, I don't know what, it, what it's supposed to be. But yeah, you can see that just on the, uh, the rooftop there. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments if you know what this relates to. So yeah, it's just on the uh, the Showtown building, right above. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it's not a monster uh, in regards to that monster hunt, but yeah, there's certainly uh, put some of them there and uh, it certainly looks unique, that one. So I think that's going to be the end of the video um, today. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, go and have a look. I'll put it in the description in regards to the, uh, the windmill. Um, I'll pop it in regards to the, uh, the monster hunt as well. So that's another great one. That's just around the corner. So there's all sorts of events and things coming up. So yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves. And it's, uh, it's a bye from me. Bye bye.